say shit, you scared to say I'm a real bitch now, deal with it I'm a real bitch now, deal with it We say shit, you too scared to say I'm a real bitch now you're tuned into our real talk where we give you the real deal where we keep it 100 with you at all times and on this segment we are talking about rebuilding relationships and finding out what is it about my peers that means anybody around you that you are kind of beefing with aka arguing with have a problem with you really got to see what is the problem why don't i get along with my brothers and my sisters and like I said before, once again, when I use the word brothers and sisters, I am not classifying it as no particular race or they have to be of your color or skin tone for you to connect with them. I'm talking about anybody that you have a relationship with. You really need to look at those relationships and see, are they healthy? Are you happy? Is your peers or are your peers doing things that are negative and hurting you now we got to address this in different areas and different situations and different functions you have some people that's on their job and they have problems with people on their job you have people that's in their community and have uh, problems with people in their community you have people that might just enter a grocery store and could have problems with the cashier whatever your circumstances are or is within where you live which is your family members blood relatives or people you trust we tend to have some issues that we really don't realize what is it about this relationship that is making me unhappy now you got to really look at it is it you or is it the person you're around and people don't really realize that sometimes when you think as another person you really need to reflect on yourself and say am I responding or taking responsibility for my own actions for how I treat a person Sometimes people can be negative to you, say negative things, say hurtful things. Yes, like I said before, there are evil-minded people out there that have intentions of hurting you because of their lack of love, lack of self-esteem for themselves, and because of their ego. You know, most of us are ego-driven, and we love to be in control over things, relationships, and things like that. And sometimes when we're intellectually challenged um, with the person we're in front of, we got to hold our ground. Because if we say sorry or we admit that we're wrong to something, it tend to make us feel like we're weak. But I never, ever suggest for anyone or anybody to stay in an abusive relationship. And when I say relationship, that does not mean you have to be intimate or have intimacy with the person. A relationship could be with your grandfather, your mother, your sister, a friend. I said relationship. I'm not identifying the kind of relationship. Whatever the intimacy or the attraction that don't have to be sexual, can just be social or friendship that you have with a person and you having some issues, really look at what is going on. Take a look at yourself first before you speak to a person about their attitude. Now, if you look at yourself and you go, down your checklist and you're saying that I'm positive, I'm not doing anything or saying anything disrespectful to this person, but somehow this person seemed to be mean-spirited. Sometimes you really have to back away and abandon that type of situation. And when I use the word abandon, sometimes you do have to shun certain people away from you because their goal and their intention is to bring you down. Their intention is to make you feel like you are less than nothing because they feel that way. But you don't want to do that. You don't want to be a part of that. So if someone is disrespecting you, someone is hurting you, and they have did things to degrade you as a person, lied on you, or pointed fingers at you in a situation where you had no interaction and you're confused on that, most times and you need to move on from that and move away from that. And are, if, if you are in a circumstances where you can't just move out or leave because of financial burdens, you have to somehow find a way to productively fix the situation without disrespecting yourself. Now, I tell people all the time, think about the circumstances. What can you say and do different to be respectful, but not totally degrade yourself as a character and who you are. Sometimes we have to be apologetic. Even if somebody accuses us of something that we didn't do, you don't have to own up to what they're saying you're doing, but you can say, brother or sister, I am sorry if you believe that I did that. 
Stand up for yourself, but at the same time, humble yourself and let them know that you are considering or meeting on common ground what they feel. But when you have a person that's totally out of control, totally angry, evil-minded, and doing things that's really hurting you, you might have to just go out on the grain and on the limb and just leave and just pray for the person that you're having that situation with or that issue with. Because most times when things repeatedly come back to us, it's something about that situation we're not completing within ourselves, even if you remove the person. Now really think about that. First and foremost, you have to love yourself. Love yourself first, regardless of what's going on. Two, you have to identify with yourself. And when I say identify with yourself, see what is your true identity. What do you classify yourself as? Do you feel you're a mean person, a spiritual person? When I say spiritual, I'm not talking religion. I'm talking about someone that has humanity. And you do look to help other people and not just yourself. It means you're selfless, not selfish. And once you identify what characteristics you hold, and be honest with yourself, if you hold some irritable characteristics about yourself that you might have to improve on, admit it to yourself and work on those things. But if you know that you're healthier, I don't want to say good or bad right now, we'll say your healthier qualities outweigh your unhealthy, meaning the bad qualities, then work from the energy from your good qualities. That don't mean get abused, be abused, and be disrespected by anybody. That's from your mother, your father, your grandparent, to a friend, to a person down the street. You do not have to stay and be abused by anybody. But I will say to you that you need to pray for your enemies. And the reason why I say that, because if you pray for them, it's very possible that they can wake up one day and realize that what I did was wrong, was disrespectful or unhealthy to that person. And out of the blue, you could get that call to satisfy yourself with the anger that you was feeling then and you did expect apology from that person. But sometimes it's not that easy for folks to apologize, to see their error in their ways. It's not, it's not easy for most people to do that. But take responsibility for yourself and don't let your ego or control power you and empower you to be mean to somebody else because they're more vulnerable than you are. Why do that? That's not right. That's very disrespectful. That's very rude to yourself first and foremost. Now, with all of that being said, think about the relationships that you are in. Start ridding yourself of negative energy and embrace positive energy. Sometimes in life, you do have to sit somebody down, whomever, sometimes yourself, and say, hey, this is the truth, and what you're doing or saying isn't right. It isn't humane. It isn't respectful. But before you say those things, sit yourself down and look at yourself and see, do you have any qualities that you need adjustments with? Because one thing that I do not like is hypocrisy. A person saying that you can't do it, but I can. Don't be that way. Please do not be that way. Think about love and humanity and make humanity first in your life. And therefore, you can't go wrong. Do unto others as you will have them do unto you. And if someone, like I said, is so mean-spirited, they can't see your clean spirit as far as positive energy is concerned, You have to pray for them, embrace yourself, and walk away. So please leave your questions and comments, and let me know what you feel and what you think. And if you're going through something, share it with us so we can give you or find a better way for you to handle the situation more positive. So God bless, and we love you here at Raw Real Talk.